What up, Portland? How y'all doing, Portland? What y'all doing today? Eating vegan burgers? Vegan burgers? Vegan... Man, I can't even say that, right? I get shredded every time I do a video for Portland investors because I say the word Oregon wrong, apparently, and now I can't even say vegan burgers. Jeez. It's getting harder to make fun of you guys. I can't even use my words. God. Anyway, here's the deal. A lot of people from Portland who don't get offended by my pronunciation of the word Oregon, they actually come to me because I specialize in helping people from Portland, right? Because people from Portland got problems. They're dealing uh, with a housing market that's very expensive, number one. Number two, they're dealing with landlord-tenant laws that have just gone batshit crazy. They're out of control, right? <laughs> my people from Portland are the same as my people from the entire state of California. They're just like, dude. What are we supposed to do here, bro? You've taken away all of our rights. Like, this is out of control. So, what do the people in California and the good people of Portland do? They look for the best cash flow markets in the USA. Markets where you can still earn a living as a rental property investor. And today, I'm helping a good man from Portland do just that on a property that is going to blow you away if you're in Portland. You don't understand that you could actually buy properties this nice for this cheap in the rest of America. And guess what? When you do so, you actually get rights as a property owner. I know, it's, it's insane. It really is. So let's check it out. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today's show is for my man, my main man, Melvin. Melvin, I'm sorry I always dogging where you live, bro. I'm sorry I do it. You're a good guy, Melvin, but you know what? Even though I dog the place you come from, you're in agreement with me. The business climate for a landlord in Portland just doesn't make sense. Sure, there's a lot of amazing things about living in Portland. I'm not dogging that, guys. Like A lot of this stuff is just jokes. But being a landlord in Portland, it's not advantageous, right? Whatever side of the political aisle you're on, we're going to have to agree that the government out there makes things very, very difficult. And the price of housing makes things very, very difficult, right? There are places in the USA where deals are better for landlords. It's just how it is, okay? You could be left, you could be right, but you know what? No matter if you're left or if you're right, we know grass is green, sky is blue, okay? So, Melvin, what I got for you is a duplex that fell out of market, came back on the market. I looked at it a week ago. I loved it. Went away, couldn't get it for any of my clients. Now it is back, and now I want to get it for you, brother, because I think this is a screamer of a deal. So I'm going to leave you with that footage, and then I need you to quickly let me know if you want to move on this thing, because I think it's going like that. Welcome back, folks. Let's pull up the numbers. This one... This one's going to have a war, all right? This one is war. This is war! This one's war, folks. War! You got to fight for this one, okay? Because it's priced uber good. 90 grand. 90 grand, y'all. Four days on the market. 1949 East 30th, lower rain. 90 grand, okay? It's too low. There's going to be a fight for this one, okay? You got to bid above list price, all right? You want to bid 90, you ain't getting the house. You want to bid 85, you ain't getting the house. You know what I'm saying? That's how it is. That's the way the cookie crumbles, right? It's nothing like amazing or anything like, man, this is the worst picture. Like, what What the hell? Why did the listing agent take this picture? I don't even understand why this. Anyway, that doesn't really matter. Like, here's the deal. It's nothing like amazing, nothing, nothing special, okay? It's just your regular run-of-the-mill duplex, right? The pictures, it looks like a regular duplex, Okay. You can more or less come to the Cleveland market, the Northeast Ohio market, and find duplexes priced around $100,000 uh, that will look similar to this, okay? But this one, this one's better for a couple reasons, not what it looks like. I mean, that's what it looks like. This ain't super sexy investing, folks. You ain't buying the Ritz-Carlton for 90 k okay? But this one's got some differences. One, the price, 90 k it's like 10k less than uh, you'd normally see. If this had a Cleveland proper address, it'd probably be like 115, 120k. Honestly, uh, this is in Lorraine, 1949 East 30th, Lorraine. 
half hour or so west, all right? I love Lorraine. I think Lorraine is awesome. Lorraine is a city and also a county, right? Lorraine City is a county, or is a, Lorraine is a city in the county of Lorraine County. Lorraine, this property is in Lorraine City, which is also in Lorraine County. Does that make sense? All right, Cuyahoga County is where Cleveland is, and then you have the city of Lorraine, which is in Lorraine County, right? I really dig Lorraine County right now. I think the pricing is better in Lorraine County and in the city of Lorraine than it is in Cleveland, even though the housing stock and the tenant bases are about the same. In addition to that, in the actual city of Lorraine itself, which is located in Lorraine County, uh, we're getting some good stuff out there, right? They're building uh, two big naval bases in Lorraine County, one of which in the city of Lorraine, so both of which going to affect this market. We're looking at three or 4,000 uh, new jobs for these like shipyard naval base things. I will link the article in the show notes below, right? So I love seeing big things like that happening, okay? That's one reason I really dig it, the locale. The second reason I really dig this one more than anything is because the bed bath count is a 3-2. Each one is a 3-2. Normally, what we get are two ones. We are normally renting two ones, okay? With the three twos, our market rents, 850 a pop, 1700 right? 20400 Normally, you see a lot of $100,000, $115,000, two ones where the market rent is going to be 1500 This, we get those extra beds and baths. We get an extra $200 a month in cash flow, and it's priced less than hundred k. So that's why I love this deal. This deal's awesome. Again, it doesn't look amazing from the photos, but that's not what you're coming here to buy, right? You're coming here to buy lower-income rentals that work good for lower-income cash-paying tenants and Section 8 tenants, right? That's how we make our money, folks. That is what makes money. This chart right here, this is what you're buying. You ain't buying that goofy picture of the of the bathroom. You're buying the fact that this should kick off a clear NOI of $10,500 after having my company manage it for you, right? Now, as far as that price goes, like I said, 90 is too low. 90 is too low, okay? You ain't picking it up for 90. Sorry, wish you were. You ain't. I think we got to go 95. You go 95 on this, you put down 23,750. Bank kicks in the other 71. You're looking at a long-term cash-on-cash return of approximately 30% on your money. Assuming we get uh, the the units up to market rent, uh, which one is, you know, one is uh, very, very close. I got uh, <clears throat> one is super close. Uh, or one's already there, rather, at 850, and then the other one is, is a ways away at 600, right? You get this with mom and pop landlords. Sometimes they'll rent the stuff for below market value, right? That's the thing, though. You're working with me to provide you the turnkey services, right? So you're not buying from a traditional turnkey buyer or seller, rather, who understands the business. So they're not always going to wrap it up for you in a beautiful package, but that's okay, Right, because I provide you all those services after, and we're probably snagging a, a really good deal here because they don't know they could have uh, probably put a list price over a hundred thousand and got that. So that's why we're going to come in quickly, snag it up five k over list, take this one down. It's not often you're going to find six beds and four baths in a Cleveland area duplex for this price. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.